usually at the library I do a program called STEM with Sam and if you don't know STEM stands for science technology engineering and math and today on this beautiful day I thought we would go ahead and use some science and a little bit of math promise just a little bit that we could go ahead and make bug houses and you're thinking Sam bug houses yes just like us bugs need eat a place to live so today we're gonna go ahead and make some bug houses and I'll show you how to do that three different ways for all of our bug houses today you were going to they use items that can be found around in your house and repurpose. For our first bug house, we're going to use an old plant pot and a piece of cardboard. And that's it. If you don't have an old pot, that's okay. So because our, our, our pot goes inwards, so we're going to have to take our, our piece of cardboard and cut off some of the, the sides. So you want to start small when cutting, because if it gets too loose, then you can't put it in the pot. <music> some of the edges to your cardboard you should place the piece of cardboard in the pot to make sure it fits in there nice and snug now I can't move it if I try to yank it out oh, so, so it's in there pretty nice and it sits there pretty straight now this side's kind of bigger so what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the excess from the top and then place in an, another piece of the cardboard right on the side so it makes three divisions the reason why we're making these divisions is so that we can then fill up our, our bug house with sticks bark you could use something like bamboo or old straws as in leaves used to fill up so the bugs can then make nice little nests and nice homes for their bug families. Now that we have three sections to this tiny bug house, what we're going to do is fill it with the leaves, these sticks, and I'm probably going to put more leaves in this section as well. Now for our second bug house, also you will need, need a milk carton, and a paper towel roll, a piece of cardboard, a ruler, sharpie, scissors, and an X-Acto knife. Now if you are going to use the X-Acto knife, make sure you have an adult with you. So first what we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler and we're going to put a straight edge to each side because we're going to want to cut out this section here. Now I've already done it on this side and I've taken our toilet paper roll just to see where I wanted to place it and then I traced it. And here where these lines are, they're are going to be where we put our cardboard. For the second part, here I placed a circular roll next to the milk carton and measured where we would want to cut it. Now once we've got everything measured and planned out, we're going to take our X-Acto knife and we're going to go ahead and start cutting in where we made those lines. Now again, if you really need help, you should get an adult to use the X-Acto knife. After you use the X-Acto knife and cut it out, it should look something like this. And don't worry about the edges, they don't have to be perfect. Now that we've cut everything out, you should go ahead and place it and see how it looks. You should always place before you start gluing anything. what you'll need is some empty soda bottles. You want to make sure that they're, they're cleaned out. Well, I have a jute here, but you can use any type of string, yarn, and something just to tie them all together. A sharpie, the our exacto knife again, so make sure you have an adult, well, scissors, and a ruler. For these bug houses, you're going to want to go ahead and take your ruler and measure her out two inches just to make two inch rings. And it'll look something like Take this bottle here and you should have a total of three for each each of these. So we don't want to use the top one or the bottom because they won't be open on both sides. We are finished gluing them all together. You can go ahead and wrap your string around it just for the extra support and I added something to, thing to the top so you can hang it. Now when you have your finished bug houses like this one, what you're going to want to do is place it in an area uh, that won't get ruined by the weather. So usually you buy these trees, these would be a good place to put it. And you want to put it low on the ground so the bugs will be able to get to it. 